Hi! Today we're going to talk about how you can use the Arduino Uno uh, board as well as a standard breadboard uh, with some simple components to easily create a process control experiment that can be used to um, interface with Java and Python to make a PID controller as well as implement model predictive control. Alright, so here's an overview of what we're going to be building. Um, so you've got the Arduino board here. Uh, it's hooked up to a breadboard that has some circuitry on it. Um, what we're going to be controlling is the temperature of this transistor here, which is sensed by a temperature sensor you can see in the back here. Um, and that will read back the temperature to the Arduino control controller, which will interface with the computer and allow you to control the temperature of this transistor. Okay, so we're going to start off. Um, let's start off by putting the temperature sensor on here. So you're going to want to put this on uh, one row away from the middle. You'll see why in a minute. Um, so let's go ahead and connect that to the Arduino. We're going to want, um, first of all, to ground the sensor. We'll then connect a uh, data relay connection to analog input 1 on the Arduino. And then we'll connect the power connection to from the sensor. We're going to connect that to the 3.3 .3 volt uh, power put output on the Arduino. As well as doing that, we're going to connect an analog reference, such as this yellow one, um, directly in front of the temperature sensor. This one's a little bit tricky to get in there. There we go. We're going to loop that back around to the analog reference on the Arduino. Okay, so now our temperature sensor is set up and ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead and connect the transistor. So we have a TIP31C transistor. We're going to put it in this heat sink. And put it on the board here. It's a little bit difficult to get it in there. You want to lean that back so the temperature sensor is inside the casing of the heat sink. Okay, now let's go ahead and connect the transistor. We start off by grounding it. And we're going to connect the power over to this uh, DC input on the side here. Okay, now we'll go ahead and connect the control uh, from the Arduino. And you're going to want to run this through a 1K resistor on the way. We'll connect that to digital output pin 3 on the Arduino. And then run that through the resistor to the transistor. Okay, just a couple more connections. Um, we'll connect both the grounds on this d DC input to the grounds on the breadboard. And finally connect the ground on the breadboard to the ground on the Arduino.
All right, now let's talk about how to um, connect the, the system to the computer and a little bit about how to operate it. Um, so we're going to start off by uh, plugging in the power. Uh, this runs off of a 9 volt, 1 amp uh, DC power. That's going to plug in just here to this barrel jack on the breadboard. Then we're going to connect the Arduino to the computer via USB. USB. Just plug that in here. Now the first time you connect that, you're going to have to install some drivers. Um, and there's instructions for doing that on the site. Now to interface with the Arduino, there's a couple different options. And I'm going to show you the, the Java option right now. Uh, so you come into this Arduino control folder. Open up Java Arduino. And then there's options for different operating systems. I'm going to select Windows 64-bit and run PID frontend version 3.exe. So that's going to op open up uh, an interface console here with the Arduino. And this is going to allow me to see measurements of temperature uh, from the system as well as control uh, outputs. So you see here the um, this is measured temperature coming in. This is the output. Currently it's at zero. Now we have the option over here to change, uh, for example, the set point. Let's go ahead and try and set that to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Then come down and push the send to Arduino button. That'll change this green line, uh, which is the set point to 80. And you see the system immediately begins changing the output to try and reach that set point. Also included are options to adjust the tuning parameters of the PID control, um, as well as a manual mode to, to manually control the output of the system.